Ghost photobombs girl's selfie. A teenage girl from Georgia got a tingle down her spine when she checked her photos from a recent fishing trip. According to a post by her mom on Facebook, 13-year-old Haley Ogletree was taking a selfie last week when she was photobombed by a ghost. That's him, right there. Haley and her brother Colton had gone fishing with their grandparents to celebrate the boy's birthday. According to their mom, Colton caught the biggest fish like ever, so maybe the ghost was happy for him. Seems like the photobomb phantom appeared when Colton was packing the fishing tackle box back in the truck. Haley's mom said her son didn't notice anyone standing there and there was no other people around that day, so there couldn't possibly be any other explanation for how the man appeared in the photo. Hmm? Huh? Good there? The photo has been shared thousands of times online and picked up by media around the world, but it's garnered divided opinions. Looks like many of you out there straight up believe in the existence of ethereal beings, while others take a more cynical view and are sure some post-production jiggery pokery went on with young Haley's photo. So do you believe in ghosts? Or do you think the photo is fake? Let us know with an appearance of your own in the comments section below. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Stay tuned for more tales of visitors from the spirit realm. Photo shows soul leaving crash victim's body. This photo of a fatal accident has gone viral on social media. Saul Vasquez of Mount Sterling, Kentucky posted the photo on Facebook writing, zoom in and pay attention to the shadow just off the top of the state trooper hat. All I can say is I hope everyone involved is okay. The photo was taken on July 12th in Kentucky off a service highway. A motorcyclist was in a single vehicle crash on the highway. When police and emergency vehicles arrived on scene, Vasquez was driving by in another vehicle. Vasquez, who has since been said to be blessed with a sixth sense-like vision, snapped the photo, catching sight of what looks like the motorcyclist's soul leaving his body. Did you see the soul? Officials said the motorcyclist was taken to a local hospital, where he later died. But the photo has made believers out of many Facebook users. One commented, God is real. Another said, simply amazing. And when a doubter suggested the soul was really just a part of the tree branches and leaves, believers chastised him. One user said, you can clearly see a human silhouette. Another said, the camera can catch what your eyes cannot. But if the motorcyclist didn't die until he was in the hospital, perhaps it wasn't his soul that was caught on camera? Father who died two years ago has one last I love you for his son. Joseph Torres died in March 2013 from a rare brain disease called Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. 90% of those diagnosed with the disease die within a year. Back in 2007, Joseph went on a road trip, but he remembered to write his son, then only four years old, everywhere he went. Most of the postcards made it home in a timely fashion, some didn't. Now, six years later and almost on the two-year anniversary of his death, a postcard dated from June 10, 2007 arrived for his son Rowan. Needless to say, Rowan and his mother were shocked. The postcard read, I love you, and I miss you so much. See you soon. Love, Daddy. Rowan's mother said that it felt as though it was a final goodbye her husband didn't get to say. Is a dead Marine haunting this four-year-old child? Parents spend a lot of time worrying about their children, and there are a lot of things you have to worry about when it comes to children. But one mother in Virginia Beach has a special worry about her four-year-old son, Andrew. She's worried that he's possessed. They even know, or at least suspect, who the ghost might be. Andrew's mother, Michelle Lucas, said her son sometimes would cry and say that he had died in a fire. Then Andrew gave her an address and said he used to live there. So Michelle Lucas has reached out to the TV show Ghost Inside My Child, and it was with their help that she figured out that Andrew was reliving the death of a U.S. Marine who had died in 1983 in a fiery explosion in Lebanon. Andrew's mother even took him to visit the gravesite of the fallen Marine, hoping it would give her son some closure. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Phone company discontinues haunted phone number. Back in November 8, 2008, Ms. Fung, age 14, and a group of her friends met up and went on a day trip. It was the same day Ms. Fung met a man identified by his last name, Xu. Xu would later lure the girl away from her friends after the trip and convince her to return to his apartment with him. 
There, he murdered the middle school student in the bathroom and dumped her body. He also sold her mobile phone to a second-hand dealer. But the ringtone of his victim's phone would continually haunt him in his nightmares. Xu became too afraid to leave his house at night and eventually started sleeping with the lights on. Xu was eventually arrested by police and sentenced to prison. But the story doesn't end there. The person who bought Ms. Fang's mobile phone said that it would often receive empty text messages or voice messages from an unknown caller. Eventually, the phone was taken into evidence by police, but Ms. Fang's ghost seems to be haunting her old phone number. Individuals who were assigned Ms. Fang's phone number would still receive the strange empty text messages from an unknown caller. Customers have complained so often about the ghostly text messages that the phone company has discontinued the number. A thousand years later, beheaded samurai is still causing trouble. Mitsui Furosan and several other companies have unveiled a redevelopment plan for the building surrounding a haunted burial site. The redevelopment plan also includes plans to preserve the burial site for historical reasons. Or is it due to superstition? According to legend, it is the burial site of a skull of a samurai warlord, Taira no Masakado from the Heian period. Taira no Masakado was beheaded after attempting to overthrow the government, but after his beheading, Taira no Masakado's head flew towards his hometown. The head came to its final resting place in current-day Otamachi, Tokyo. The local villagers erected a gravestone over the landing site of the head. There have been numerous attempts at removing the gravestone or building over the site, all with disastrous results. The most famous incident was in 1945 when a bulldozer overturned and killed its driver. The plan will leave a green space for the burial mound and the surrounding three buildings will be rebuilt. The entire project will cost 1.43 billion US dollars.